Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Suspiracy Podcast. I'm your host, Marissa. And I'm Alex. And this week, we're thinking about birds. Thinking um, about birds. <laughs> I think we might have a few announcements first. We do have a few announcements. Um, cancel Cult Socials. In case you haven't looked yet, you can find us over on Facebook at Canceled Cult, at Canceled Cult, or you can search Canceled Cult over there. Not productions, uh, too many characters. Um, along with that, Suspiracy is available on all podcast platforms that includes youtube as well you can search us over there at cancel cult productions uh, and you can subscribe over there and get uh, videos like this or you can continue listening on sites like apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, spotify and more um we changed our location today as you probably see uh we're in the basement mom's basement um And we kind of just made that change because we noticed last week's episode in the kitchen was a little tinny, kind of a little bit of reverb action going on there. So we wanted to kind of go to a a different location where it would be less reverby. More sexy voice. So. Okay, we're worried about the sexy voice. Right. Uh, That's my announcements, but you had something that you wanted to mention, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got some feedback last week. Uh, Obviously, that was the first time I'd ever done anything. Fair. True. Um, there were so we filmed last week, uh, last Wednesday. So, but last Tuesday, um, would you say medium? I wouldn't say severe, right? Medium. I was in a medium. car accident. It wasn't mild. It, wasn't it was mild. severe. I hit my head a few times. Uh, I was a little slow last week's podcast. I was missing some things, but uh, I promise that's not me. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know why it's dangerous. I um, I do already have a brain condition. I don't know if that was, but yeah, I do. Uh, it's there, so that was that. Plus the hitting my, it, it's better now. We're better now. We're better now. Right. It's good. Like Post Malone. Right. Exactly like right. Post Malone. Solid. I can't tell you how many times I've had that comparison in my life, really. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I think that is, uh, that's the announcements that we have this week. I didn't check, because I'm a dummy amateur podcaster, didn't check the email to see if anybody wrote in, but let's be honest, I highly doubt anybody did yet. Wink. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just uh, move on to the opening statement for this week's conspiracy theory that we're looking at. And we should probably preface that by saying that it's not going to be like last week. We want to try something different. Yeah, uh, because, well, I, I guess I don't know how you feel about it, but I think this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Actually. Oh, it's it's great. It's amazing. But it's it's a, a stroke of pure marketing genius. So we'll go over that. But uh, we'll go over the opening statement here. Uh, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Go ahead. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, birds are real. They're not flesh and bo- not flesh and bone, but metal, because drones. Polly want a cracker, more like Polly want to crack at your personal information. From listening to your deepest conversations to swooping down on me at the golf course trying to analyze my immaculate golf swing. Today we're taking a look at the bird or at the birds are government drones theory. Uh, so come along on this journey with us. As we dump, jump into probably one of the dumbest things that I've ever heard. But it's fun. I think you're being it's a fun. little judgmental. Yeah, I am. It's fun, though. It's fun. All right. I did some research here. Um, I've learned a lot about this. Okay. I don't know that it's fair that you're, you know, calling it a conspiracy. And there's so much evidence. Okay. Here. Um, so I found a, a Vice article, because that's what oh, you yeah. do. Yes. Yep. And um, I found a very similar article written by a club at Northern Arizona University. Okay. Very similar, suspiciously similar. Um, But they stated that the U.S. government and CIA, I don't know, I've just, they're both included somehow. uh, They genocided, and I I have some issues with the choice of words there. Did they spell it like that? They did. Did I spell it wrong? No, I mean, did they did they say did they, it like did that? Did they do in the it article? that way? Yeah, genocided. they used the word genocided, and I'm I have something. I, I looked up some stuff about that. Okay. Um, actually, I looked up the dictionary definition of the word genocide because uh, 
That just seemed kind of like an interesting choice of words. That's not right. Um, and the dictionary defines this as the deliberate and systematic extermination of a national, racial, political, or cultural group. So it doesn't list species. Species is not included, but I, maybe. But are are they a culture? Birds races. Hmm. A race of bird. I mean, I think this might be the real question here. But either well, way, so they did use the, the term genocide. So okay. I thought that should be acknowledged. Um, That's terrible. Of over twelve billion birds of various species and subspecies between the years 1959 and 2001. That's right. So take your headphones, take your AirPods, and go outside right now and look on the ground, in the sky, on the power lines, everywhere, and you will see not birds. Not birds at all. But government drones. Yes. Okay. Convincing government drones. Right. Very convincing. Right. They're uh, recording your information. Obviously. And my drones wait. So. Of course. Well, that's probably the most important information. Yeah, you don't, you don't get like a 16 handicap without an immaculate swing. So. All right. Well, um, the methods that that have been that I found in my research for how they got rid of all these birds because it's a lot of birds. Right. Um, I I read that there was poison gas involved. Okay. Um, that seems like it might be tough to control. Like. If you're just aiming it at birds? The flow of, like when the planes do the chemtrails. Oh, of course. You, they can't control where it goes. Are you saying the chemtrails are the bird poison gas? Probably. Okay. That would make the most the, sense. The, yeah. Besides, this is the sequel to episode one. Um, yeah. Okay, so That's I mean, weird. I see a flaw with that, that potential. How, though? Right. I mean, if you're spraying anything, like, so if it's not chemicals, right? Like, they have, like, planes that will dump water on forest fires or spray mosquito repellent or whatever. Actually, I think that's just a truck that pulls around a little bit. It is, but yeah, either it's way, a big truck. I think the airplanes can get pretty accurate with where they're dropping it, but I don't think they could guarantee it wouldn't land where they didn't want it to. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like poison gas, I mean, that maybe the government would have seen some unintended consequences. Right. Before resorting to something like that, but that was the first of two potential yeah. options. Okay. And the other one, which I think we can all probably say, uh, risk versus reward on that one, maybe not so much, was that they were um, manufacturing a virus for these birds that they would then spread amongst themselves and okay. uh, die out that way. Okay. We can't really predict how that's going to go after right. the fact. Considering what's going on right. in the world today. Oh. But I believe it, you know, that could happen. Interesting. Uh, yeah. So, are you sure it's our government that's doing this? If it's a virus. I really, I don't know what you're getting at there. What are you trying to imply? I don't want to get canceled on episode two, so. That's fine. All right. Well, um, both the Vice and the NAU article, which I did acknowledge kind of were exactly the same thing. Right like copy and paste it almost for a school assignment, maybe. I see a lot of those do that. Um, right, but according to those, they both referred to this as a parody, which I think is offensive. No, it's definitely a parody. I think that's offensive. Why? Prove, prove it's a parody. The kid that started mm. it, what do you mean? And prove it, prove it to me. He literally just got on the internet and said birds aren't real. And people started following his movement. Well, that's how you do things, right? You just Birds do it. are clearly real. So it's you. Do you have any specific questions for me? Um, I mean, kind of just off the top of my head, how would, thinking of, when was this? 
I included dates because I thought that was relevant to this question that I'm thinking you're about to ask here. Uh, 1959 was the first year this theory was documented. Okay, so early 60s, late 50s, early 60s. At what point were we able to develop bird-like technology in the 50s or 60s? Do you, have you seen cameras from back then? The government's got a lot of secrets. Like cameras. You know, there's... Like over-the-shoulder, bazooka-looking-ass cameras. That's for the general public, though. This is the no, this is No, this is what news anchors and things were using. I mean, it was like... The news anchors are the general public. The and media I would say doesn't the get it. General everything. public. I would be general public. They're press. Press doesn't necessarily get perks. And look at the size of that camera now. It's now taken sixty-two years to get to that point. Or the right. phone in your pocket. But that one's not gonna make a convincing bird. That's fine, but even in what? 2000 when the first cell phone came out that was also a brick i feel like, like that was in the 80s am i a brick a, is my perception of time and completely now, wrong probably or? it always okay. is uh but yeah and now it's this size after 20 30 40 years so yeah but like who's to say that the government didn't have the technology to make the phones the size of the phones that you're holding up then they didn't because we didn't have the technology. But maybe, maybe, hear me out. America just wasn't ready yet. <sighs> and we just had to wait until we were. No. And so they I did have the so. technology then, working by that logic, they did have the technology to make these bird drones, both small enough and convincing enough. I don't think so, because most people, most, the government doesn't make technology. People make technology that's contracted by the government. And this is, this is where we're at now. So. Sure. Okay. But like, prove it. Okay. Anyways. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay. all different questions or just one big they're one? They're all, I mean, they kind of run on questions. But, uh, okay, that's fine. Because I was that. Okay. How would, uh, how would people not notice? Well, I don't think most people are there, really... There's specific hobbies mm -hmm. that look at birds. I right. don't know why. Bird people. It's boring as shit. <laughs> I don't know that bird people are real. I think that the bird people might also be government plants to help sell the story. You think there's bird people that watch people they people watch? They're just out there? Just yeah, looking. they're just out there doing that. They're just looking at you. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the bird people are also fake. That's why. So you don't think bird watchers would have noticed that robotic birds had taken the place of real birds. Well, I think casual bird watchers would probably be convinced, but I think the diehard bird watchers are not a trustworthy source for anyone if they complain yeah. about them not looking real. They're like, okay, but you're, you're, you do what now for fun? So. Well, that's a good, that's a good point. <laughs> right. What the fuck are you doing? You just out there with your binocs? Exactly, your little binoculars, just looking just at Just looking at like, fucking birds. That's how you're choosing to spend your day. Yikes. No offense. Boring. Full of Bird offense. people. Uh, I don't understand you. Full offense. Is it just birds? Like, like pigeons? I actually have something to say about that. So, uh, the CIA, I'm not sure when they declassified this. Uh, the article I looked at didn't give dates for that. But they um, declassified details of its secret Cold War spy pigeon mis missions. So there were missions with birds, pigeons. real birds, back when those were, you know, before they got rid of those. Okay, so they were real birds. Though. Right. Um, they had little cameras. I didn't do I'm picturing a real... It said they had cameras on the pigeons. I'm sure they can't have been 
They could have been big cameras. <laughs> right. The, I don't think that the pigeon was operating the cameras. But Do they we said know that, that though. <laughs> it didn't say. Um, but okay. It did say that they had trained these pigeons. These ones that had been used for communication. Okay. Um, because you could pretty much put them anywhere and they'll find their way home. I guess. Um, that they were used in clandestine photography missions on sensitive sites inside the Soviet Union. Okay. Uh, I still consider pigeons normal ass birds though. Like what about chickens? Right, Turkeys. I Turkeys. Food bald eagles. Mm -hmm. Okay, bald eagles Con are probably condors. never real. What is that fucking bird in, in the biggest bird in California? Is it a condor? I don't know any But it'd be uh, extinct. Or our wonderful state bird, the pheasant. You know, give it up to the pheasant. But or food birds, I that. think, probably, probably they can't food have birds? with the food birds. Food birds. Yeah, the, like chickens and the yeah, turkeys. Yeah, we have. We just bought chicken. Right. The other day. So food birds were. Are they're probably safe? So, they're probably still real. Okay. They still shit. Do. Right. Wasn't that why the CIA decided that they wanted yeah. to kill all the birds? They were shitting everywhere. Yes. That. That's. Um, actually, probably my most believable point. Uh, well, they were shit, fighting. I kill all the birds. Right. They were fighting they against the birds existing because birds fucking suck. There was a bird war. Like, pretty much. Like they took up Like in Australia? Like the birds. Because they the lost. Emu war, right? Yeah. Emu. And yes, emu. they lost. E emu. That, like M O O Emu. Please say that like too e in Australia. E M U. Right, mate. Fucking Emu then. That's not. Me. Yeah. Emu. Okay. So, yeah. but they lost, so I don't know why they I have lost. to prove anything to them. They lost to a bunch of fucking birds. So. Okay, fair enough, but those were, the, I mean, they were you lost a war. badass birds. You lost a war to birds. It was not well planned. Birds, you lost. Right, but those birds, we, we won, because we killed them all, and they're, now they record you. Explain to me, then, how I've seen corpse of birds plants of birds that have blood and bone okay so in our garage even when we sprayed for spiders and somehow <laughs> killed the bird that was there planted. was somehow a bird in there yeah that was oh. there's people whose job it is right right to yeah. go around put dead birds that they preserved from when they killed birds that'd be a that'd be a fun fucking job actually and they just had to sneak and so drop. somebody, yeah, so like a little person. Yeah, well, I don't in. know if we want a little person necessarily. Well, but that'd be funnier. <laughs> it like, would be if that... snuck into our garage. Because like a full grown human wouldn't fit through our window out there. So they had to send in a little person. Or a child. With a dead bird. So we've got but where did the a plant little person. Come from? Did they just have birds on standby in case well, they yeah, didn't they, kill them? Well, yeah, they froze all the birds they killed. That's morbid. That's disgusting, almost. Yeah. I, I don't... God, that's funny. Okay, well, I do... Somebody sneaking into our house and planting a dead bird. I we sprayed for spiders. That would make sense. How the fuck did a bird get in our garage? Okay, but how did There a, wasn't one in there when I sprayed. How did a person as small as you're implying survive when our garage was full of all it's that the poison? Government. Oh, you're masks. right. No, you're right. I... Honestly, don't even know what was they going through my head right there when in. I asked that. Choppered him in on a little drone. That was a big a dead one. bird body. Yeah, it was huge. It was. It was not fresh. It was frozen. And it was alive at one point. Yeah, back in the 50s. I don't know. Right. Uh, I do have one point that's kind of arguing against myself here, but I'm going to include it. Chairman Mao. You know what I'm getting at? No. Okay. One of his biggest failures, I know a lot of people are like, yay, Chairman Mao, not really in the West, but um, he... Is that Winnie? No. Oh. That's not, this is way before that's that. Not this is, yeah, this, okay. is, he's, this guy's dead. But uh, he's credited with killing more of his people, I think, than any of the bad dictators. And he was a bad guy, but like a lot of it was stupid shit. Okay. And one of those stupid things was his four pests campaign. Four pests. Four pests. Like four or like four? Like four. Like there were four different... The number four. Pests, okay. yes. And the first stage 
with sparrows. He was going to kill all the sparrows, and then there were three other things that he thought were threatening his people's crops or be just annoying that he was going to exterminate. Okay. But they killed the sparrows. And then there were so many locusts. Like, so many fucking locusts that they ate all the rice fields. And then people starved to death. So, I bet that's the one question the I could have had. No, this is real. So, I mean, that sounds... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not, bad. No shade Dude, of religion or anything. Christian people out there, sorry. <laughs> Just my immediate reaction to that one. Yikes. Um No, no, this actually happened in China. Okay, and so where Pooh is from now? Yeah, where Pooh's from now. Okay. So the like. I'm just wondering if if all the birds are dead, how are we keeping the insect population under control? Exactly. But there are plenty of wasps outside the house that don't get eaten yeah. by birds. Do birds eat wasps? And ground hornets. Whatever the fuck those things are. They, it's they, fucking they're fucking terrible. Nightmares. I'm terrified of anything with a stinger. I stepped on a bee once. It was already dead and it stung me. That's important that well, I include that story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, we have a ton of bugs around here. Mosquitoes. Um, Do you think they're not real either? They would almost have to not be, but then what's biting you? The government. The government's biting you? Yeah. <laughs> the damn little people. They're just shooting. You're, you're shooting putting a lot of the you. government's responsibility on people with dwarfism, and that doesn't well, seem no, fair. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just was stuck on that bit because no no grown human, like. No, no one would fit in our garage. I don't say, yeah, I, I don't want to dig myself into a hole there, but. Like a, a, no, like but a I fully like grown this. man would not fit in the window. Okay, yeah, let's put all the failures of the government actually we can't say on that. the shoulder. No? No. Okay, well, I no. didn't say it all the way. Good. Okay. We can't say that. Not in episode two. <laughs> we need to figure out in episode three, <laughs> though. But, uh, yeah, I kind of understood his point as far as, like, birds just being bad. But not all birds are bad, so... Have you ever connected with a bird? I think they're cool. Okay, but birds like directly, cool. like like man to bird. Did you ever just like they're just chilling? Feel a yeah. connection there? Fuck yeah, birds are sick. But now I can't remember what I was gonna say. You cut me off. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Um, sparrows are a very invasive species. They do nothing for he for people. You're so an invasive they species. shouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. um, and they swoop at you and they literally do nothing for the environment. They're just assholes. They're I like, need to give like context. Wasps. Sparrows are the wasp of the bird world. Okay, so Alex has has a thing about sparrows and I need to give some context to that because he doesn't seem like he's going to. Um, Alex likes to golf. A lot. And a lot. He's good at it too, I'm I not. think. But I'm not. I'm usually drinking in the golf cart. So we were there at a golf course in Beersford and uh, hole seven. Nobody knows where that is. Yeah, but I'm saying it because that's where it was. Hole seven? Mm, I think it was seven yeah, or nine. Seven. seven. Hole seven, Beersford Golf Course, South Dakota. It's uh, got a devil bird in the trees. And so he was up on the, um, he was going to hit it. Where, what's that called? I was going to tee off. He was going to tee off. He was up ready to tee off. He had his hat on. He was ready to go. And then um, a bird swooped him. Tried to get his hat. Several times. Several times. So many times. He was terrified of this bird. He ran away from it. Um, swinging my hat and shit. It was a little bird. Unbelievable. It, it was, was a sparrow. Yeah, it was, it was vicious. And it was probably because the government wanted to analyze your swing or steal your obviously. hat. Well, obviously. They, one or the other. But, Yeah. Fuck that bird and everything it stands for. Um, no, I don't like sparrows. They're like wasps. There's no reason to keep them alive. I guess they, they eat the locusts and keep the Chinese people Here's alive. The if birds are real, then they shouldn't be. But That's a different take, argument. I wasn't in, prepared no. for this argument, but I am on your side. Yeah. Let's get rid of the birds. Get rid of all of them. And the bees. Let's just get rid don't of all of them. Don't need anything. Well, the bees, I think we need bees. Yeah, but the saying, but it wasp? won't work if you just have bees. 
Because then if you're teaching your kids about sex, you're just teaching them about the bees. You know why it's called that? The birds and the bees? Because they reproduce. No. Right? No. Somebody explained it on TikTok why it's actually called the birds and the bees. And why the bees is because of pollination. And the birds was... I can't remember what the birds was. Yeah, those are forms of reproduction. I'm not wrong. Well, yeah, but, like, I mean, if so does everything. It's the way that... I don't, I don't know what you want. Why do we, why do you we pick, me. why do we pick birds and bees over polar bears and fucking dogs? Relatable? How? I don't know, because you just Neither listed two mammals. mammals, which would make way more sense. Yeah. Let's change it. We're getting rid of the birds anyway. Birds don't even fucking exist. Right. So, so did you say polar bears and dogs? Polar bears and dogs. Okay, yeah, that's bears it. Bears and that's the dogs. That's saying. The bears and the dogs, any kind of bears were inclusive. Any bears. All the uh, dogs, too. Yeah. Most of the dogs. Little dogs. I don't like big dogs. I like big dogs. Big but dogs are fun. Day, if it bounces when it barks, it ain't a dog. But that's what you like. That's my favorite kind of dog. <laughs> okay. Had to reset the camera. Um, so, where were we? We were talking about how we're doing... Not doing. We're talking about bears were, and dogs. Right, and you were blaming little people for all of society's problems. I was blaming problems. little people for all of society's problems. Right. I don't actually believe that. Alex has people. an issue so. with little people. It's not no, my issue. Don't. Why would you do that? <laughs> I do not. Um, so, birds. So, birds are spying on us. Right. CIA. Mm -hmm. And the government. Separate entities. Why? They want to know. Just everything? Yeah, they just... want to, they're keeping tabs on us for communism. But they're they'll... checking for communism. But isn't there pretty much like CCTV cameras on every corner of every street of America anyway? Yeah, the birds. What was that, what was that program that the NSA did the like in Snowden 2009 thing? where they were like, or was it 2009? I can't remember. Back where in the day. They were just watching everybody. Tapping yeah. Tapping everybody's phones and. Um, well, I think this would probably be a part of that, and I feel like they're always just looking for communism. So, but, so why would they have to do any of that if birds were feeding them all the information? Because the birds are feeding, they're not in every home, just the homes that have pet birds for whatever reason. they're outside every home. And they're outside, but not everywhere. Some areas have less birds, some areas have more birds. I guess, and they hibernate in the winter, you know, because, be oh, they, don't they just they fly north migrate. for the winter? Or so fly south for the winter. Fly into government buildings. Because electronics don't work when it's fucking cold. And they have to charge, and probably. They charge they're getting a new battery. That's why you're not seeing any birds when I mean, it's We just made a discovery. Outside. We Holy discovered shit. that. Yeah, that makes sense. Earmark that. Yeah, that makes sense. I just, uh, I don't know. So the kid that, the kid that came up with this. Brought attention to that invented this is okay. a genius. Do you know I agree. how many like so he grew his social media following to massive numbers. I actually don't have it, but if you want to go check out his like Instagram stuff, it's at birds aren't real on Twitter and Instagram. True. His YouTube website is also here. where we got a lot of our information yep. that wasn't from the Vice slash ASU right. www.birdsaren'treal.com or something yeah. like that. Uh Kid's very creative, he unless he's telling merch. the truth. He sells merch. Yes, he wears his merch. I saw the video. He's genius, actually. And he's got a Patreon. We should support he's him. He's making bank. Good for him. He's exploiting a conspiracy theory he that wasn't real. He is exploiting nothing. Until Birds what, 2018? Are not real. 2018 is when he, when he first just came home from school, just hitting the books. And then he was like, hey, look, birds aren't real. Right. Why? Why did he, why did he say that? Because birds aren't real. Him? There are CIA what, people that said. But what would lead him to just come home and be like, you know what, fuck it. Birds aren't real. <clears throat> Illegal drugs, probably. Probably. Right. Could be. And that's okay, because the illegal drugs could have led his mind down the correct path. Or most likely not. Uh, and he's just a genius who is profiting massively on a fake conspiracy theory. Fake conspiracy no theory way. says the guy who thinks dwarves are breaking in has our no fucking way. garage. That was a bit, first of all. 
I just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I admit he's a genius. He he's is a, a smart genius. guy. He's a really smart guy. Good for that kid. Have we uh, hyped him up enough? Just yeah. A plus. Yeah. Uh, Twitter.com backslash birds aren't real. Or Instagram at birds aren't real. You can check it out for yourselves. Fucking a winning team. So how are you feeling about this conspiracy theory? I don't feel about this conspiracy theory. All I've right. seen dead birds. I see birds flying around. There's no way in fuck shit ever that we would have the technology to ever do something like this back when it surfaced in 1959. Uh, not possible. Not possible. Because the government doesn't create drones. They contract that out to defense contractors and they make drones. So we didn't possess this technology until recently. Recent? I, I, oh my god. <laughs> when I was looking at something earlier, I swear I had seen that MIT, an MIT article, they were making a drone, a pigeon drone. It's like a robot pigeon. So you're saying and they're they working studied, on it now. They studied dead pigeons like to get their wing path and shit so they could so they could make it fly like a like a pigeon. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, I'll have to find. All that you're article. telling me is that this is possible. I, it could be possible, but I, so I'm gonna have to find that article. I'll link it down in the in the show notes and in the in the YouTube description uh, because they're working on something similar to it. Are they going to kill all the birds, Brian? Well, but I would think it's possible if they could use bird-shaped drones to spy on U.S. citizens or overseas citizens now i don't know i have a i have an emoji review for you but first um i have a couple pictures and i want to know if these change your mind at all make you feel more okay okay so this is real this was crowdfunded um i'm not sure of its capabilities but it's called the bionic bird um okay and i'll have the pictures up on the screen as well right. uh do you trust this, looking at it, with the egg attached no. to the bottom and the coloring? No, this is totally Again, stupid. I don't know if it can record. I didn't, I just, this came up. It's got carbon fiber wings, of course. Like, you go outside and look at a bird, and just, they don't look like this. Okay, okay, I have more pictures okay. for you. Okay, All right, so here is a layout what of... What does this prove? <laughs> this is, you built computers. You understand how they work. Um... Would this work, do you think? No. What, why would it need a CPU? This could work. Let's, okay, this could work. Okay. If you were somehow able to replace one pigeon eye <laughs> with a camera and ran it to a battery source of some kind, and then you could even have it to, like, so you know those flashlights where you, like, spin it? on the side to charge it up? Yeah. Like, when they're flapping their wings and shit. That's how they you charge it? You want it to be crank-powered? But like flat powered. Yeah, flat yeah. powered. Okay. Yeah, the flapping, and so that could work. It would continuously power the. Where's the battery at in this picture? Down here. Not have one. Okay, so yeah, it could continuously power this battery. Uh, I, I suppose you could have a microphone, but most cameras have a built-in. No, they don't. This has a microphone, but I don't. I mean, I guess the only ne reason that would be necessary would be playing the cooing noises. Yeah. You, so you just take like. You just take a laptop webcam and microphone out well, of the, the, out of the casing. For. Yeah. Yeah. And then you could put it into a pigeon and have it flat powered. But the a CPU for what? Oh, you got to store it. You have it to store somewhere. it. Shit. Yeah, you're recording audio. No, this ain't possible. And you probably are also recording GPS because you need to know the time and place that right. conversations were recorded. Right. Yeah, no, I don't. So you don't you don't know about this? This might no, be a good I, starting point. I know it's definitely not possible. Okay, and then I have this. Which is, is what I pictured when um, Okay, that's like a transformer. Right. When you know the pigeon when it was like they had cameras? Yeah. This guy he's got a camera. Wow. He's holding a camera and he looks like he is prepared. He is Ready to get to work. I could see something like that. Yeah. Wrapped around his neck or something. He's reporting for duty. He's like, I'll take some pictures for you, boss. That's actually, it's actually kind of adorable. Right. I want that on a t-shirt. Do you believe it now? I like that. Yeah, I like funny. that too. That's I want funny. the the birds aren't real t-shirt with that on it. 
Yeah, that's a good one. So all of that being said, that. as far as I'm concerned, as on um, this particular theory, yeah, if it's real, that's pretty fucked up. But the government's already spying on us. If oh, it's yeah. fake, no question, it's a fuck ton of fun, and I feel like it's pretty harmless. So for that reason, it's getting um, six out of five little bird emojis. Six out of five six bird emojis. Five, yeah. I think it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And I think if someone believes it and it's not a it's dangerous harmless. thing, it'd yeah. be different if you believed in like global warming or something. Got him. Oh, she's mad. Bring me not watch the video. <laughs> I'm fine. For the record, I do totally think global warming is fucking fake, but that is a. Uh, that's beside the point. Maybe another. I mean, it's hot outside. Water. I'll tell you that. But it's also cold in the winter time. So that's that's why I based my entire argument off of the hot take you didn't know you needed. So six out of five. A little bird emoji. Six out of five. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna rate them, but uh, it's fun. It's not harmful. Global warming is real, by the way. <laughs> I wanted to clear that up. It's not even called that anymore. <laughs> And climate change or what the fuck ever. It's still cold in the wintertime, so. Um, it was 102 degrees today. Yeah, it was hot. I, I mean, I know we're discussing the weather now, but you're the one that brought up global but, warming. But I mean, it's not even like... And our birds, by the way, seem unaffected. I don't know if a drone would overheat mm, it would. in this. It probably would, yeah. But maybe they've got technology built in. I don't think so. Liquid cool Keep, yeah, they, they liquid cool birds. birds. That's why they bleed. Okay, that's why they bleed. Right, gotcha. they added some color. That makes sense. I, I know that's possible. I saw it <laughs> in my growth center. Yeah, that was true. Great. Right. Little, little colored coolant in there. Yeah, that's all it is. Keep it was them bad. Cool. It was it like, was, yeah. It's like, like you can't breathe hot because mm -hmm. it's so humid. That's what South Dakota sucks. High 90s for the next 10 days. <laughs> Fuck that. I should have mowed yesterday. Yeah, that would have been smart. Anyways, so six out of five emojis. That is, uh, that's that's birds. Our birds are real. You know, that's the birds theory. I, no matter who you're believing here, birds are real. Right, that's true. They exist. In what our, form are birds real? What form? That makes sense. All right. Well, it's about that time, I think. Yeah, I think that's all I got. So. I guess we'll uh, we'll cut it off here. If anybody uh, has any future uh, conspiracy theories that they want to hear about or write in about, uh, you got a story about something, think that you can prove that birds aren't real, go ahead and send us an email over at cancelcallproductions at gmail.com, and we will read it on the show. Yeah, next week's episode is going to be a bit of a surprise. We have number four picked out, number undetermined. three undetermined. Yep, TBA. It'll be fun either way. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to go, go get, you know? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> no, yeah, we're going to go and get. We're going to get. get out. All right. We're going to get. We'll see you guys next Tuesday. See you next right. Tuesday. Take care.